Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to thank you for joining me today. Um, I am covering the seven spiritual laws of success by Deepak Chopra. So this is what the book looks like. And um, the seven spiritual laws of success. I believe this book is to um, align yourself spiritually with what you're supposed to do and be successful at it. Or maybe to understand success on a spiritual level. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just going to do this as a project for my vlog because I believe that, um, you know, we should all understand these laws. We should all be successful. Um, I'm going to start off today um, with a quote from the Upanishad that's actually in the book. And it says here, you are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. So maybe we should find what our deep driving desire is and see if we agree with that. I don't know. Um, so, the first, um, chapter covers, um, pure potentiality. It says pure consciousness is pure potentiality. Pure consciousness is our spiritual essence. It is also pure joy. Other attributes of consciousness are pure knowledge, infinite silence, perfect balance, Invincibility, simplicity, and bliss. And um, I think here we have to understand the spiritual essence and, and what pure consciousness is. And um, with all the research that I've been doing, it seems that this consciousness is universal and it's also within us if we just tap into it and I think that that's the real challenge there because when we when we don't stop for a minute and tap in or, or with with everything that's going on you, you, you can't really do that and you're too busy thinking or you're too busy wanting to be someplace else. You always want something to be done, you know, always want something else or you're always working for something or you want something more in your life. So if we understand pure consciousness as being these things, the spiritual essence, um, infinite silence, pure knowledge, perfect balance, I think those are all things that we that are already in us. If we're not used to recognizing them, we should recognize this now. So the experience of the self or self-referral, it says on this book here on page 10, it means that our internal reference point is our own spirit. Okay? And not the objects of our experience. So when you grow up, um, you know, that is, I think, what we're, that's what we kind of learn to do. It says here, in object referral, we are always influenced by objects outside the self, situations, circumstances, people, and things. And I think things is, is a big, a uh, big one. Excuse me. So, the things that we have, the things we own, circumstances, um, things, um, where we're from, who we are, I I'm Latin, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a musician, 
I identify mm. with all these things. And, um, and that is object referral. Self-referral means that our internal reference point is our own spirit. And inside the spirit is pure consciousness and um, silence. The ego is your self-image on page 11. It is your social mask. It is the role you are playing. So we've gone on now to being children, to being adolescents, to being young adults, adults, um, elderly people. You know, we've lived life and we've decided that we identify with certain things, that we are a certain way. And I guess maybe that is not what is happening. It's, it's, a, it's the spirit that is experiencing through you. But I think in our lives we keep the ball rolling and then we get caught up in what we think is really going on and it's maybe not that way. There are certain characteristics of self-power, meaning what's in here, the spirit. It draws people to you, and it also draws things that you want to you. It magnetizes people, situations, and circumstances to support your desires. Okay? And how do we get there? It goes on to say, one way to access the field is through the daily practice of silence, meditation, and non-judgment. Spending time in nature will also... Uh, give you access to the qualities inherent in the field. Infinite creativity, freedom, and bliss. 